that we need to stop being so concerned, stop being so pressed and stressed over how white people perceive us. Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what's been going on lately in the media surrounding Beyonce's halftime performance and her performance and her music video and the song has really triggered a train of thoughts for me and I wanted to share them with you all. Now if you listen to the lyrics of the song, it's a fun song in itself is really a party club song that's nothing much more nothing much less I mean there are a few lyrics where she bigs up her root that she loves her Negro nose with Jackson 5 nostrils and she loves her babies afro basically a song about you know loving yourself and loving you know how you look loving how you, you, her family looks and loving her her roots and I, that's amazing, that's beautiful to me. I mean, and that's only like one quick portion of the song. The rest of the song is just, you know, straight ish talking, like, you know, cocky. You know what I'm saying? Like, typical 2000s music, hip hop, urban club music, you know, it's real cocky sounding. So, like, okay, that's, you know, cool song. I personally like it a lot, you know, be the sick. And I love the video, afros everywhere, you know, I'm team natural hair all day. Choreography was lovely. It's set in New Orleans. You see a lot of like historical inspired costumes. A really beautiful video. And you know, there's that scene where she's on top of the the New Orleans police car and she's sinking into the, the flood with the police car. That's obviously a lot of symbolism right there. You see the little black boy, the little black boy, he was probably like four years old, five years old, and he's killing it dancing, and he's in front of a line of policemen, and the policemen are like SWAT team, you know, they got the the shield on their face and everything, like they're ready to, you know, for war. And they're just watching him dance in his black hoodie, his sweatsuit out. There's a part when the little boy just raises his arms up and then all the cops raise their arms up and then they show some graffiti on the wall that says, stop shooting us. That's it. Um, that particular segment is the only part of the music video that's really directly relevant to current modern day issues regarding police brutality. A lot can be said about the sinking police car as well. Basically, that was it, and this, the song is fun. Typical modern day Beyonce, in my opinion, really fun, really cocky, you know, a club banger. Now, her halftime performance, people were so upset, so upset, calling Beyonce racist and all sorts of negative things. I'm not even gonna get into who said what, when and where. I'm not gonna do that, because I don't wanna shine any light on them. That's not what this video is for. I just want to really point out something. We don't have to say anything anti-white for people to think that we're anti-white. I don't understand the school of thought that being pro-black is anti-white. Just because I love who I am does not mean that I hate who you are. And people don't seem to understand that. The Black Panthers weren't anti-white. The Black Panthers were all about self-defense. They weren't going out attacking people. How dare you compare the Black Panthers to the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan were terrorists, literally. Going completely out of their ways to terrorize, to kill, to destroy, to destroy black communities. The Black Panthers were all about protecting us. The Black Panthers knew their rights. Beyonce and her dancers were dressed, you know, and they're all black with the, Beyonce had the bullets around her chest like Michael Jackson and, but um, yes, they did wear berets. So they wanted to be recognized as, you know, paying homage to the Black Panthers. Now the main reason I wanted to make this video is to get this message out. My people, and when I say my people right now, I'm talking about black people. Even though everyone is my people, listen, I may be a black woman, but 
that's my current existence. I am a spiritual being and spirit has no color. So I just want to make sure I let that be known. But right now in this human existence, I am a black woman and I'm talking to all my black brothers and sisters right now. And I want to say that we need to stop being so concerned Stop being so pressed and stressed over how white people perceive us. Stop it. What we need to be concerned about is how we perceive ourselves. You know, and I posted a meme on Instagram and it was it was poorly written, you know, grammatically and spelling wise, but I still posted it because I thought that the message was excellent. I'm not sure if it was a quote, but it was a, a picture of of Dave Chappelle with this little paragraph next to him. I'm not sure if Dave Chappelle actually said that. You know, there's a lot of misquoting going on on the internet these days, but regardless of if he said it or not, I'm sure Dave Chappelle agrees with this, with the quote itself. It says, some blacks keep using the logic that perhaps if we stopped cursing, stopped being ghetto and pulled our pants up, then whites would treat us better. I'm not condoning bad behavior, but whites were also lynching castrating and burning us alive when we were saying yes sir boss wearing our pants at our waistline and not using the n-word so isn't it apparent that the problem is more about them than us it's a new day and although yes we're still dealing with so many atrocities in america and around the world regarding race relations racial relations still it's a new day and we have so many more opportunities that we need to take advantage of. We need to start supporting ourselves more. As soon as our money comes into our pockets, where are we putting that money? Whose pockets are we putting that money into? And someone left a comment under my meme basically saying that no one wants to see your underwear pull up your pants. That's totally irrelevant. First of all, if someone wants to wear, you know, their pants sagging down low with their underwear out, I'm not for that. I don't personally like to see that at all. Actually, I very much dislike to see that. However, that is their right. And that doesn't mean that they're less deserving of life than someone who's wearing a belt at their waist. Like, come on, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. My thoughts are a little bit all over the place. I hope I'm making some sense. Basically, what I wanted you to take away is to support black business people. There's nothing racist about loving yourself. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of the skin that you're in. You know, as long as you're not hurting anybody. And if you are, you need to check yourself, you know. But if you're doing the right thing, God bless you. Love yourself. Love your people. You know, thanks Beyonce for your performance and the stand that you've taken. It's, it was a little risky. N not that risky because you're Beyonce. I, I get it. Like You can do whatever you want. <laughs> but um, I appreciate it personally. Make sure you leave your thoughts below. Thumbs this video up if you liked it. Subscribe and share. Follow me on Instagram at Kala Does That. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.